We can keep him like this for a few days, maybe a week. Call ahead. Tell him we're on our way. As soon as we're clear. Desmond Miles. Your life has changed so much in so little time. Two months ago, you were pouring shots for bankers and celebrities. But now look at you. You're an assassin. One of us. One of the good guys. Isn't that nice? Men and women dedicated to protecting and preserving human life and liberty. Not like those Templars, cold and calculating autocrats, drunk on power, obsessed with order, all that. We're doing our best to stop them. Yeah, doing our best. But you remember all this, right? You remember the Animus, the machine we use to unravel genetic memories and relive the lives of our ancestors? First, you were Altair. A stoic 12th century assassin from the Holy Land. Then, you are Ezio Auditore, a wealthy Italian with charisma and a talent for revenge. So, what do you three have in common? That's right, the Apple of Eden. <laughs> that strange artifact left behind by those people. The ones who came before. You know the apple's power. You felt it for yourself. <laughs> oh, it's been fun, hasn't it, Desmond? But that's about to change. Your mind is fragmented, falling to pieces. And if you don't find a way to wake up, you may lose yourself forever. Okay, I shut down the Animus monitoring system to free up a lot of memory, but even like this, it's still risky. Desmond will be fine. The partition worked, the Animus is stable, and his signs are good. For now. But this was built to recreate memories, not simulate entire cognitive processes. The Animus will do its part, and Desmond will do the rest. What's happening? I, I can't move! I, I can't... No! Just walk right past me. Sixteen? No, they didn't tell you my name. Oh, God damn it, I'm still in the Animus? Quite a shock you suffered out there. Rebecca! Get me out of here! They can't help you, Desmond. You're a broken man. Your mind, it's... broken. Broken. I feel fine. So did I. Hey. <laughs> Look at me now! Let's talk, buddy. Walk with me. What is this place? It's nice, isn't it? We're in the guts of the Animus. The original test program. No memories here, just basic physics, weather simulations. Hello, world! You're lucky someone up there had the sense to plug you in here. Saved your life. Saved it from what? Right now, you should be sitting in a hospital ward, drooling and chewing on your tongue. For now, the Animus is keeping you intact. Keeping all your ancestors from collapsing into one big mess. But if you can't find a sync nexus, all those personalities will smash together. Well, that won't be pretty. A sync nexus? I'm getting there. Hold on. There. That thing is your way out. You're screwing with me. Here's the problem. Your brain is hash. Too many ghosts in your head, too many voices. So how do you fix that? 
You claw your way back into the stored data, you find unfinished memories, and you crack them open. Finish what you started, until your ancestor has nothing left to show you. That is a sync nexus. And when you find it, the Animus can separate Desmond from Ezio and Altair and send you home. Back to your body. How do you know all this? Because it happened to me. But my body... It's worm food now. So I'm stuck here. A word of warning? When you step through there, everything changes. Nothing feels normal. But you are still in control, and it's up to you to find your way out. Right. If you hurry, you might make it back in time for Lucy's funeral. What? Ah! Oh. I thought you knew. Lucy. So sorry. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. It was that voice. Juno. She took hold of me. She made me. Claudia, my dearest sister. I have been in Acre a week now, safe and in high spirits, but prepared for the worst. The men and women who have fed and sheltered me here also give me warning that the road to Masyaf is overrun by mercenaries and bandits, not native to this land. What this could mean, I dread to guess. When I first set out from Roma ten months ago, I did so with a single purpose. To discover what our father did not. In a letter written the year before my birth, he makes mention of a library hidden beneath the stones of Masyaf Castle. A sanctum full of invaluable wisdom. So what will I find when I arrive there? Who will greet me? A host of eager Templars, as I fear most strongly. Or nothing but the whistling of a cold and lonely wind. Masyaf has not been home to the Assassins for almost 300 years now. Can we still claim it for our own? Are we welcome there? Ah, I am wary of this fight, Claudia. Not because I am tired, but because our struggle seems to move in one direction only. Towards chaos. Today, I have more questions than answers. This is why I've come so far. To find clarity. To find the wisdom left behind by the great Altair. So that I may better understand the purpose of our fight. And my place in it. Should anything happen to me, Claudia? Should my skills fail me? Or my ambition lead me astray? Do not seek retribution or revenge in my memory, but fight to continue the search for truth, so that all may benefit. My story is one of many thousands, and the world will not suffer if it ends too soon.
Be merciful, please. I am a working man with a family. Doing what kind of work? Digging mostly. It took me a year to find this chamber. And for the past three months I've been trying to break through this door. You've not made much progress. I have not made a dent. This stone is harder than steel. I doubt you will. This door is guarding objects more valuable than all the gold in the world. Ah, oh, do you mean gemstones? There are keyholes here. Where are the keys? These Templars found one beneath the Ottoman Sultan's palace. As for the others, I suppose the little book will tell them. What book? A journal of some kind. That ugly captain, he carries it with him wherever he goes. Go home. Find work with honest men. Oh, I would love to leave this place. But these men, they will murder me if I try. Pack your tools. Die, you bastard! 
Understand me. Nothing gets through. Leandros! Grab! Well, well. Look what crawled out of its hole to die. He's at death's door. Finish him off. Bring me his head, or throw yourselves into the canyon! Could it be that you are every bit as deadly as the legends say? Or am I in charge of an army of drunks swinging sticks? Right this way, Ezio. Nowhere left to run now! Not for me, and not for you. Kill that dog! Cut him down! already, and are closing in on the rest. What is in that library is not for you, not for the Templars. Ah, you can have Altair's books, Ezio. We only want guidance. We only want directions. To the location of the Grand Temple. Ugh. Grand Temple? Tell me more, now. 
requiescat in pace, bastardo. the Desmond partition. So once the Animus located you, it pulled you back here. It's just following orders. Like a... a fail-safe program. Trying to keep your poor head intact. Whether you like it or not. What are you doing here exactly? Playing. Learning. Waiting. A lot of waiting. I keep the Animus distracted as best I can, for you, so you can explore. Otherwise it might hunt you down like a little virus and, uh, delete you. Well, my guardian angel. There's no such thing. Yeah, I... Thanks. Sean, it's me. What's happening? Are you at the airport? Yeah, we're chartering a jet. Are you coming? Yes, yeah. I'll be there soon. Good. They... they buried her already. I heard. In a little cemetery outside Rome. Nice place. Oh, God. Things got so fucked up so fast. Is Desmond still out? Yeah. We're seeing a lot of brain activity, but with the monitoring system shut down, we can't record anything. Well, keep me posted, okay? I'll see you soon. Dear sister, Mazyaf is overrun by a battery of Templars, and their motive is clear. They desire the secrets locked away in Altair's library. Secrets they believe will lead them to something called the Grand Temple. Whether or not this is true, I do know the library is real. I have seen its door for myself. But none can enter. Not without five keys which were sent to Constantinople with Niccolo Polo almost 300 years ago. Claudia, I must find these keys. The Templars have already located one, and I do not know how difficult it will be to find the others. Only time, skill, and a bit of luck will tell. Sight. It is a work in progress. No city in Europa has a skyline quite like this. Well, to be precise, that is Europa. That is Asia. Ah. Some borders even the Ottomans cannot move. Very few. You are Italian by the sound of it. But your outfit is not. Have you been traveling long? Si. A molto tempo. I left Rome a 12 months ago, looking for... inspiration. And that search brought me here. When I was a child, my father told me stories about the fall of Constantinople. You must mean the conquest of Constantinople. I suppose the moral of any story matches the temper of the man telling it. That we can agree on. Guzel! Constantinople is a city for all kinds and creeds. Students like me, or uh, travelers such as yourself. I have so much work to return to, but it is good to be home. Work? When I was your age, my interests were, were mainly salve. Incredible. I am surprised you got anything done. 
As was my mother. It was a pleasure speaking with you, Bea Fendi. I hope you find something to hold your interest here. I have faith I will. Yardum at the Belir me, Fendi. Grazie, dear boy. A scholar and a gentleman. You are full of surprises. <laughs> Very few, my friend. Exceed all mine. Hosh Galdin Kardashian. Unless the legend is a lie, you are the man I long to meet. Renowned master and mentor. It's your auditory, the la la la. Franco. Uh, forgive me. I have a hard time remembering that Italian gibberish. Da Firenze. The city where I was born. Ah, yes. Uh, so, by your custom, I would be Yusuf Tazim da Istanbul. I like that. Istanbul. Yet another name for this city. Evet. It's a local favorite. Uh, come, mentor da Firenze. I will show you around. Welcome to Galata district. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Kissing Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your Holy Land tussle with the Templar did not go unnoticed. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. And the Sultan bears it on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one. Two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan coughs, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. I want him hot now. You need some for me, eh? More Templars! Look sharp! No, no. Watch. Byzantium is dead! As are you! The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. Touching. It's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. Buona idea. Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, Grazie. 
So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. The Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last Emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. It's your... Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. Think of the hook blade as an extension of yourself, Ezio. Watch and learn, Ezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, use the hook blade to slip by. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So you can use one or the other. An elegant design. How about a bigger challenge? Hmm? Va bene. Let's go. That's right. Let the hook blade do the work. Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled this city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Brace you to the bottom. I'm impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. Good man. When he tires of running, an assassin must take to the air. Watch! Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. Assassin! Help! Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? See, si. the Galata Den. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hide there, Astkale. Unebuk, Sheriff Fusta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now.
Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar Den. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. Ezio! Come meet my new friend! You fight like a man late for his own wedding. See, si. by about 25 years. I was too late to save the bazaar then, unfortunately. But now that my army has doubled in size, we'll take it back together. This way! When the Templars take control of a district, they flaunt their presence. Hanging banners, extorting the merchants, it's a constant battle to keep them at bay. And they rub our noses in every victory. They are quite bold. Why does the Sultan tolerate this? Sultan Bayezid is far away, Ezio. Warring with his son Selim, many Fersa northwest of the city. He has been away for years, at least since the earthquake, and maybe even before. He is blind to all this turmoil. Ah, but your eyes are open, see? Hem de foul, Tashigibi. Believe it. Too many to engage directly. <sighs> I am not confident a smoke bomb will help us here. Smoke bomb? Ezio, it's time you Italians joined the 16th century. These do not obscure. They distract. You see? They can't resist. Let's move. You are full of surprises today. Crafting explosives is a new hobby, one we borrowed from the Chinese and have taken to with great passion. You will have to teach me. Uh, who is the mentor here, Ezio? I'm beginning to wonder. <laughs> this is another of our many dens, taken by Templars, as you can see. Somewhere among this rabble is a Templar captain. Kill him, then climb the tower and light our signal fire. This warns the Templars that it is time to pack up and go. Bene, you create a distraction. I will send them home. Over here. Whenever the Templars commandeer one of our dens, they leave a captain in charge. Search the area carefully, and you might see him strutting about like a peacock. Use those legendary senses of yours, Ezio, and scan the streets. You'll find our target. <laughs> I'm seeing very strange activity in the Animus. Oh? The CPU should be fairly idle, but the system monitor is spiking regularly, sometimes as high as 85%. Is it serious? I'm not sure. Desmond's signs are stable. Well, if there isn't a problem, let's not try to fix anything. Fair enough. God, I need a drink. Sixteen? Desmond, think about this. What if... I went with you? With me? Where? It could work. Just for a while. Until I found a way out. Another body, maybe, or a... I don't know. I just... 
I don't want to be here anymore. That's... that's not going to happen. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I guess I had my chance. <laughs> and I wasted it. Were they close? Desmond and Lucy? I mean, closer than friends? Uh, well, there was the occasional misty-eyed moment, but... Uh... She liked him, Bill. That's what she told me. Hmm. Interesting. That's it? Just... interesting? I spent a lot of time training each of them when they were younger. She was a remarkable woman. I just find this whole situation... quite sad. Sad? Are you finally getting soft on us, Bill? Claudia, Constantinopoli, called Istanbul by the Turks, has welcomed me as one of its own. The assassins here, led by an affable fighter named Yusuf, take great pride in their city. A place as diverse and colorful as one could imagine. But it is a troubled city too. A rebellious faction of Byzantine Templars still fights to retain influence. And their recent attacks have delayed my search for the Masyaf Keys. But this will not last. As soon as I am able, I will begin looking for Nicolo Polo's former trading post. In search of clues that will bring me nearer to the Masyaf Keys. How did we do? We have won the day and recovered that den. But we lost a few friends in this fight. So much death for so little gain. You have some experience recruiting new assassins, do you not? More than a little. The people here are quite sick of these Templar attacks. Can you turn on your charms and find us a few more recruits? See, si. But this den will not do for training them. Not this soon. A good point. Speak with one of my men in Galata after you are finished. He can help you begin their training. Are you a compassionate man, Effendi? Can you help me? That I stole fruit from a vendor, I will not deny. But only because my hunger has trumped my honesty. Bring me the key to these chains. And I will repay you tenfold. Wait right here. Uh, uh, obviously. If you humble me, Effendi, I will return to the merchant I robbed and show him the same kindness. After you have cleared your conscience, amigo, consider joining our cause. To be an honest man, one needs honest work. I would be honored. Saul, Mentor, we have a problem. A great many assassins have disappeared in recent months, and I believe I know why. Disappeared? Do you mean they have been killed? I fear so, but there is no time to explain. Hide in the park west of here, and wait for me to arrive. You shall see for yourself. Sharpen your senses. There is a danger here I do not fully understand. You keep watch, and I will have a look around. Glorious is triumph! 
will be, should any be foolish enough to strike at him there. That man. Only a guilty man runs with such speed. And only a fool stops to fight. My heart is heavy. That man, his name is Vari. He was an assassin once. He has obvious skill and a score to settle. Evet, until that man is caught or killed, I fear none of us will be safe in this city. And until you are properly trained, I will not let you go head to head with a killer as deadly as this man. Let us focus on further honing your skills first. Any damage? Not that I can see. Byzantine Templars may be bad hosts, but are decent tenants. Once they capture a location, they like to keep it intact. Because they intend to stay. Kessininkle. Well, as promised, if you want to learn how to craft your own bombs, I can show you. Ah, 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 don't touch that. One wrong move and bang, the building comes down. Are you serious? <laughs> Look on your face! <laughs> Here, I'll show you. You'll find many ingredients for bomb recipes scattered throughout the city. So keep your eyes open and your nose to the ground as you move about. That should keep me busy. Grazie, Yusuf. Have you ever seen this book? Uh, no. It's a journal? Si. The Secret Crusade by Niccolo Polo. Uh, Marco's father? I found this on a Templar in Masyaf. It mentions the five keys to Altair's library. Niccolo brought them here and hid them. Ah, and the Templars know this, so it's a race against time. They found one already, beneath Topkapo. I want to recover it and find the other four. So, where will you begin? The old Polo trading post, I think. They ran a business in this area, no? I believe so. Speak with a man named Piri Reis in the bazaar. He can point you in the right direction. And teach you a few more bomb recipes, if you are so inclined. Piri Reis. I think I have seen some of your earliest work. Reis? <laughs> Did Yusuf Tazim send you? That sounds like one of his exaggerations. See, si. he said you could show me the location of Niccolo Polo's former trading post. Ah, you must be that Florence he's been yammering on about. Uh, Lothario? Ezio. I don't hear the difference. Yes, the old Polo shop. It's just west of Aya Sofia. Here. Grazie. Yusuf also mentioned that you were the man to talk to about... specialty bombs. Ah, that man. He is a talker. A vet. I'm a navigator in the Sultan's navy. Currently on leave to study cartography. But through my soldiering, I've also gained an appreciation for artillery and explosives. And it has served the assassins well. It gives us a... an edge. I carry many kinds of bombs. For assassins only, of course. Lethal, tactical, diversionary, and a few 
Peculiar casings. Everything you see here is for sale. If you can prove you know how to use it first. I am eager to learn. Well, no one is stopping you. Just let me know. Buongiorno, Merava. Please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. You sailed from Rhodes, no? See, si. how did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. Sofia Sarto. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. Most of my best tomes are in the back. It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Altrettanto. I assume the Ottoman war with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out. But I always knew I would return. Have you found anything interesting? Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. Ah, oh, che presuntuoso. A presto, Sofia. I will return in a moment. Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy system? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months! Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got a clue what he's doing. All he knows is that somewhere in the city... This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Aietes. Look alive, eh? We pay you to watch the doors, not your feet. Petros, make sure we have enough torches for the excavation. I'm tired of stumbling around in the dark. There is someone down here with us. 
Keep your eyes open and your hands steady. Ezio, that took some time. What did you find? Something that may interest you. Mio Dio, che meraviglia! And here is my shop. Look at the margins. Strange symbols. And these are titles of books. Rare books. A few of these have not been seen for more than a millennium. Nicolo Polo hid these books around the city. These maps should tell us where. Hmm. You're beginning to interest me. Vaguely. From what I can tell, I need to find these three books first. They may contain clues to locate the rest of these. Molto curioso. Another was found beneath Topkapa Palace, but there is still time to reach the others. Found by whom? Men who do not read. Sophia, can you decipher this map? Help me find these books. Can I borrow them when you are finished? We will work something out. Yusuf, salute. Piri told me I might see you here. Did you find what you were looking for? I believe so. This is one of Altair's five keys. A strange artifact. Ah, it is like nothing I have ever seen. You should keep it somewhere safe. At our headquarters, see. Si, I will. What brings you this way? I am coordinating with our allies today. The thieves in the bazaar, the mercenaries near the arsenal, and the Romanis in the Constantine district. You are spread a bit thin, Yusuf. Let me speak with the Romanis myself. I have had so little contact with them in the past. That would ease my mind. If you are in a hurry, you may travel by our network of tunnels. The air down there is a little foul, but the rats are no bigger than dogs. Have fun. Grazie. I have seen happier men at the gallows. Heh, crack wise elsewhere, Effendim. Today the Byzantines stole half a year's worth of coin from us. Mi dispiace. Can I help? Perhaps. For centuries, my people have been slandered and insulted, labeled witches and warlocks. Well, so be it. We will not run from these lies anymore, but embrace them. Encourage these rumors, for it is better to be infamous than ignored. I like the sound of that. Here is my plan. Every man who touched that chest of coins must die, but discreetly, as if cursed by a pagan hex. The Romani curse becomes our blessing. Perhaps then people will leave us be. What the hell is going on here? Is it the Romani curse? The what? Why would 
desecrator! You will see what comes of such acts! Old tricks are always the best. Do be careful, Ezio. I hear that chest is cursed. Where to, Bella Donna? This way. And stay alert. Have you heard the term gypsy? Quite often, see. Si. Did you know that this word was born from the misapprehension that my people are from Egypt? You find it offensive? <laughs> I find it funny. My people are from Eastern Persia and beyond. Yet, somehow we have become citizens of a land we have never seen. People are quick to judge and slow to correct themselves. <laughs> people are stupid. Sometimes. Ezio, the simplest answer is always the best. You should count it. Make sure everything is there. Oh, you have our thanks, Ezio. And you can count on us from here on out. For anything. At any time. Good to know. If I need, say, to borrow some money, I will ask you. The markings on this key are familiar. And the material... I have seen its kind before. Just like the Apple of Eden, ancient technology from the first civilization. foot. What is your name, brother? Altair, son of Umar. Umar? Oh, yes. He was a fine man who lived as he died. With honor. Altair! We have been betrayed. The enemy has overrun the castle. You live. And Al-Mualim, where is he? He was inside when the Crusaders broke through. We can do nothing for him now. Altair, we must fall back. When I close the castle gate, flank the Crusaders in the village and drive them into the canyon. You don't stand a chance! Abbas, no mistakes. Another step, and your mentor dies! You will not leave this place alive, traitor. No, you misunderstand. I am no traitor. For I cannot betray those I never truly loved. Then you are doubly wretched, for you have been living a lie. Now you call on your lap dog to protect you? You disappoint me. Why not share what you have learned with everyone, like a proper assassin? Why not share with your brothers the true extent of your ambition? Where is your sense of fraternity?
Another good man dies and still you say nothing. I am surprised. You taught me many things, Al Mualin, but patience was not one of them. Speak now, or I will cut out your tongue that you may speak no more! Your time is running out, old man. Tell me what you know of the artifact. Tell me where you are searching for it. It is a small price to pay to preserve what you have built here, no? Ah! What outlandish gear. You put too much faith in the hearts of men, Altair. The Templars know the truth. Humans are weak, base, and petty. No. Our creed is evidence to the contrary. <laughs> uh, perhaps I am not wise enough to understand. But I suspect the opposite. That I am too wise to believe such rubbish. You offered him a chance to salvage his dignity. Why? No man should pass from this world without knowing some kindness. But he shunned your graces, as was his right. Altair, I have watched you grow from a boy to a man in so short a time. It fills me with as much sadness as pride. You fit your father's shoes as if they had been tailored to your feet. I did not know him well as a father. He was an assassin, above all. You too were born into this order. Do you regret it? How can I regret the only life I've ever known? You may find a way in time. And it will be up to you to choose the path you prefer. Come, my boy, and ready your blade. This battle is not yet won. Ah, so they contain recorded memories, these keys, these ancient seals. But what is Altair trying to tell us, I wonder? What does he want the future to know, or to learn? Any news of the Traitor Valley? Have you found him? He found us, Minto. Two of our brothers were kidnapped from this den earlier today. Now Vali is demanding that we hand over our property to the Templars. No. Do not negotiate with men who use hostages as leverage. We hunt them down, and we eliminate them. Then we should split up and search Galata now. We have little time to waste. Who did this to you? Mentor, forget me. You have fallen for a ruse. He captured me to draw assassins away from our headquarters. He will be on his way there now. You are a canny soldier, Ezio. But you alone are not enough to save this city. I will follow from Get the roof down, now. Well... Curry! We must catch the master! Once your creed was as vital to me as air and water. But when the Turks marched into Wallachia, and you assassins did nothing to stop it, how could I continue to believe? If a man's philosophy does not let him protect his people, his home, and his family, what good can it do for the world? Peace be with you.
Claudia. I am now in possession of one of the Masyaf keys. And better still, I have discovered a map, encoded with signs and symbols, which I believe will lead me to the remaining keys. Its full meaning is a mystery to me, but I am thankful to have met a Venetian woman willing to help me decipher it. I must not overstate my successes. The Templars still hold one key hostage, and if I am to recover it, I may need more help than the Assassins can provide. If I can make a friend in the Ottoman court, my access to the secrets of this city will improve greatly. A pleasant surprise, Ezio. We should trade stories if I'm not dead by this time tomorrow. Is there a chance of that? We learn that the Byzantines are planning to infiltrate Topkapa Palace now that Prince Suleiman has returned from his Hajj. If they do strike, it will be tonight at a cultural exposition the Prince has organized. So what is our plan? Gardeshim, this is not your fight. No need to snare yourself in the Ottoman affairs. The Byzantines found a key beneath Topkapa Palace, and I would like to know how. Ezio, we want to protect our Shehezade, not interrogate him. Trust me, Yusuf. Just tell me where to go. Topkapa's main gate. We plan to dress as entertainers and walk right in. I will find the disguise and meet you there. Minstrels from Italia. I'm going to enjoy this. Look ridiculous. I feel ridiculous. My blade is too conspicuous in this outfit. Are you armed? Messeledil! You mark the target and we will take them out. You, uh, know how to play that thing? I learned a few chords when I was young. When were you ever young? Whenever he would show <laughs> what himself, is this? my feast would there, find Patsy. his face. Oh, the beauties of Firenze <laughs> what can are melt you a doing? heart, you'll see. Beware the girls of Roma. Hey, Carla, fire you go in and bother the guests with that noise. Oh, Centinie, I beg you, the Byzantium endure. Constantine's force would turn at not Stamboul the cure. The things I do to save the world surprise me time to time. Like learning how to play the lute and making these words rhyme. And in praise of mighty men when I recall their names. My tagless minstrel, I sing of key for coins. If you spot me in the street, please kick me in the loins. Young Cesare, I heard him say, is not be killed by man. So I tossed him through the air to see where he might land. This courtyard is clear. 
but I do not see Prince Suleiman. Follow me. No one understands my plight, the life of a musician, singing for impatient men. It's... Now this is a celebration. Suleiman, the Sultan's grandson and governor of Kefe. And he's only 17. We met on the ship. He told me he was a student. And who is that? His uncle, Shehezade Ahmed, the Sultan's favorite son. He is grooming himself for the Sultanate as we speak. Sheriff, Solon is up. Come, we have more Byzantines to find. I sing in Italiano. You understand no word. But thank you for coming. My Greek is non-existent, and my Turkish is absurd. Venezia's grim doge, a fierce and evil man, was just a trifle red of face. We should speak soon. While traveling through for Lee, I took her at her leisure. She said it's strictly business, such Thank business you. was my pleasure. Before Rodrigo was Shandra. the Pope, I hope he you are was a man yourself. of vices. And once he gained the Holy See, he raised his vices' prices. Proud Romagna's iron lady, a rose of tempered steel, could raise the ardor of a corpse and teach a stone Such an... Suikasya! Suikasya! Clear the courtyard! Says Ade Suleiman, take cover! Follow them! Ezio! It is a relief to see you again, mio bel menestrello. Did I say that right? Well enough. I hear you are a governor, too. Is there anything you do not do? I do not talk to strangers. I am Suleiman. Ezio Auditore. Shazadem, are you injured? Who is your captain's soldier? Tarot Balete. He is away on an errand. Clear this body and send the guests home. Then summon Tariq to the Divan. Bashus Tanesh, as Adem. Tariq Barlete is a captain in the Janissary Corps, the Sultan's elite soldiery. They guard the Sultan, but not his family. Not very well, evidently. Ezio, do you have some time to spare? I would like your opinion on something. I will, once I change out of these rags. Guzel, meet me when you are ready. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlete. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your uncle? Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today, your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, if any. I will conduct a full investigation. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. 
Allah emanet olun. Tariq Bey, a word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tariq, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed, I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? You'd better. You are weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. <laughs> you make a decent philosopher, Ahmed, but you will be a poor sultan. You may show yourself out. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. Mia cara, the strings of fate have drawn us together. Two Italiani, lost and alone in the Orient. Do you not feel the... magnetismo? I feel many things, Messere. Nausea above all. Is this man bothering you, Sofia? Excuse me, Messere, but the lady and I are... Oh! Oh! Il diavolo in persona! Stay back! Duccio, a pleasure. Run, buona donna! Run for your life! Who was that? Uncane. He was engaged to my sister many years ago. And what happened? His cazzo was engaged to six others. Chiedovenia. So what brings you to these docks? I took a break from my work to retrieve a package. But here they claim the captain's papers are not in order. So I wait. I could be here all day. Let me see what I can do. I know a few ways to bend the rules. Do you now? See, si. I will meet you back at your shop. Any luck? Mademigella Sofia Sartor, Libraia, Costantinopoli. Oh no, look at the damage. Did they use this to fight off pirates? Well, so far so good. Ah, beautiful, no? This is a print of a map by Martin Walse Müller. See here? The new lands, described by Messer Amerigo Vespucci. Poor Cristoforo Colombo. History has a strange way of unfolding. What do you make of this body of water here? A new ocean, perhaps. Most of the scholars I know claim the size of the globe has been underestimated. Incredibile. The more we learn about the world, the less we seem to know. Well, you honored your promise. Here is mine fulfilled. If we are correct, this should show you the location of the first book. I must admit, my head is swimming with the prospect of seeing these books. This is knowledge the world has lost, and must have again. Perhaps I could print a few copies to distribute myself. Or a small run of fifty or so, that should be enough. <laughs> Perché ridi? Forgive me. It is a joy to see someone with a passion so... Personal and noble. It is inspiring. Goodness, 
Where is this coming from? Grazie, Sofia. I will return. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, Mentor. But the Apple corrupted you, and through you it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? 
He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Saab in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve, but others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. A deadly weapon. And you believe al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The Apple is safe in al Mualim's study. When I'm finished here, I will show you all I know. I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of al Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al Mualim is bewitched. Ah! You can't just hey, do you whatever see. you please, idiot. I am not a sword. You will not get through. Ah! I'm... What did I tell you, Altair? Abbas, stop! What did you think would happen? When you murdered our beloved mentor! You loved al Mulim less than anyone! You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide! My father was a hero! This is not the time to quarrel over the past! We must decide what to do with that weapon! Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it! No man is! Please. Beautiful, is it not? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not know. Have you anything to teach us? Or will you lead us all to ruin? Altair. Barely 26 and already a Grand Master in command of a divided order. How does one cope with such responsibility and unlimited power? made the acquaintance of an Ottoman prince named Suleiman. He's a clever young man, with a fortitude uncommon for his age. 
On his suggestion, I will be investigating some wayward Janissaries who may be in league with the Templars. With luck, they will lead me straight to the core of the Templars' leadership. Meanwhile, the Venetian Sophia Sartor continues to help me find the hidden Masyaf keys. She is a diligent woman, full of passion and vigor, and I enjoy her company immensely. But I dare not tell her the purpose of my stay here, nor of my true vocation. Those who do not volunteer in our struggle should not be forced to fight it. You see this rat? Incredible quality. Your feet will love you more than your wife does. I am not married. Ah, you are better off. Come, feel it. You have sold well today. I have not sold a thing. The Janissaries confiscated most of my rugs just because they were imported. Do you know Tariq Barletti, their captain? Uh, he's around here somewhere. An arrogant man, but... Uh, you insult me, sir. I cannot take less than 200 action for this. My final offer. When I find him, I will ask about the rugs. You drive a hard bargain, Yabanche. Shall we compromise at 180? 180 action. We part as friends. Of all Mehmet's accomplishments, I'm beginning to think this bazaar was the finest. If you have no business here, you do not belong. Lead the way! No loitering! This is an important meeting. Make sure I am not being followed. What news? Manuel has agreed to meet you, Tarek. He's waiting by the Arsenal gate. <laughs> An eager old weasel, isn't he? Come. We may verify the amount, Tarek. The money stays with me until I have seen the cargo for myself. And the say that's quality. Understood. You are a shrewd man, Manuel. Trust without cynicism is hollow. The count is good, Tarek. It's all here. So, what now? You will have access to the arsenal. When you are satisfied, the cargo will be delivered to a location of your choosing. Are your men prepared to travel? Not a problem. Polikala, I will have a map drawn up for you within a week. Are we here for the same reason? One of my men claims he saw a shipment of weapons enter the arsenal. So I got curious. Weapons? I would like to see them for myself. And short of killing everyone, I'm not sure how you will get inside. You have been warned twice. No merchants near the arsenal wall. Take this away. Hypocrites! If your men did not buy my produce, I would not sell it here. You are worse than the Byzantines, you traitor! Ah! Hold your tongue, parasite! Even in times of peace, the poor are always under siege. If we inspire them to vent their anger, Perhaps that will help our cause. Men and women of the city, hear me now. You have broken no laws and thus deserve no abuse. Fight back against this man who wanted to maintain beneficial laws. 
The Janissaries are corrupted, good people of Constantinia. They have surrendered their loyalties to the devil. They want to get rid The Janissaries collude against you! Do not suffer their injuries! Return them! That gate will not stay closed for long. The people are doing you a favor, Ezio. Return it, and keep them safe from harm. into place. When the Palais Logos line is restored, Manuel, do not forget who helped you bring it back. Of course not, my friend. I would not dream of betraying a man of your influence. But you must be patient. Nova Roma wasn't built in a day. I'm satisfied. Take me to my ship. If a single one is damaged, the money stays with me. I am closing in on two more books, one near Topkapa and the other in the Bayezid district. Bayezid first. Topkapa will be a dead end. Ah, see. Si. What do you make of this? Oh, Ezio. Incredibile. Early Coptic bindings, still in good shape. Amazing. This must be a third century transcription of the original. Sophia, what happened here? Oh, that happens once or twice a year. People break in thinking they will find money. I do not keep much here, but this time they made off with a portrait of some value. It is a shame. You keep working. I will find your painting. 
Ezio, the thief could be anywhere by now. If the thief came for money, but took a painting, he should be close by, eager to get rid of it. Well, if you happen to find it within the next few hours, meet me by the aqueduct. I will be running errands. Where is it, Labro? Confess! I have done nothing. You cannot prove a damn thing. I do not need to. I will just keep hitting you until you talk. I do not care how you got the painting. Just tell me where it is. I sold it to a, a merchant in the bazaar. How else will I feed myself? Next time, find a nicer way to be a canalia. I have a painting for sale, if you are curious. A luminous portrait. You see how lifelike she looks? Her beauty shines through. It is a good likeness, don't you think? I prefer the original. Buffone. <laughs> this was a gift from my father for my 28th birthday. I had to sit for Messer Albrecht Durer for a full week. Can you imagine me sitting still for seven days, doing nothing? I cannot. Una tortura. <laughs> so, I found you another book location. And it is not far from here, actually. Grazie. Ezio, what is this all about? You are not a scholar, that much is clear. Do you work for the church? <laughs> not the church, no. But I am a teacher, of a kind. I will explain one day, Sophia, when I can. What did you find? Another key? Door of some kind, bricked up with hard stone. Ah, promising. The first key was found behind a similar door. Timulus. And how did they open that door? They did it. The earthquake did. Iberoja. All we have are a few barrels of gunpowder. This should do. And if it does not? We get more. Yeah. The assassin! Go! Go! You will not leave here alive! Ville! No, no. He is here somewhere.
We have gunpowder. We should use it. Stand back! Give me some room! The Templars have retaken their archive on Cyprus. Abbas sent no reinforcements. It was a massacre. Oh my God. Maria, when we left myself ten years ago, this order was strong. But all that progress has been undone. Abbas must answer for this. Answer to whom? The assassins obey only his command now. Resist your desire for revenge, Altair. Speak truth, and they will see their error. He executed our youngest son, Maria. He deserves to die. Perhaps. But if you cannot win back the order by honorable means, its foundation will crumble. You are right. Thirty years ago, I let passion overtake my reason. And it caused a rift that has never fully healed. Reasonably, and reasonable men will listen. Some will, but not Abbas. I should have expelled him 30 years ago when he tried to steal the apple. But you earn the respect of the other assassins because you let him stay. How do you know this? You were not there. I married a masterful storyteller. Look at this place. Masyaf is a shadow of its former self. We have been away for a long time. But not in hiding. The Mongol threat demanded our attention, and we rode to meet it. What man here can say the same? Where is our eldest son? Does Darim know his brother is dead? I sent him a message four days ago. With luck, it has reached him already. Abbas, I almost pity him. He wears his grudge like a cloak. His wound is deep. It will help him to heal himself. As I walk these streets, I sense a great fear in the people. Not love. Abbas has dismantled this place and robbed it of all joy. We may be walking to our doom, Maria. We may, but we walk together. Let them speak. We seek the truth about our son's death. Why was Seth killed? Is it the truth you want? Or an excuse for revenge? 
If the truth gives us an excuse, we will act on it. Surrender the apple, Altair, and I will tell you why your son was put to death. Ah, the truth is out already. Abbas wants the apple for himself, not to open your minds, but to control them. You have held that artifact for 30 years, Altair. Reveling in its power and hoarding its secrets, it has corrupted you. Very well, Abbas. Take it. What? Before I executed your son, I told him you ordered it yourself. He died, believing you had betrayed him. Father, I got your message. What has happened? They're him! Turn back! Have they all gone mad? We have to go. Abbas must not get his hands on the apple. If you need more knives, take them. Above you! Where is Mother? She is gone, Darim. I'm sorry. What? Ahead of oh. us! Later. First, we fight. This way. Brothers, we need not fight! Forget reason, Darim. They've been poisoned by lies. Abbas who killed my brother? He killed your brother, Malik, and countless others. He is a madman. A madman with an army. He will die. One day you will pray. Abbas who killed my brother. I will have the apple, Altair, and I will have your head for all the dishonor you brought upon my family. You cannot run forever, not from us, and not from your lies. Excellent news, Claudia. I now have a name. Manuel Paleologos, nephew of the deposed Byzantine Emperor Constantine. I have few doubts that he is the man leading the Templars. My task now is to interrogate a traitorous janissary named Tarek Barletti and find the location of the Templars' army. Until then, Sophia and I will continue our search for the one key that remains hidden. With every passing moment, I know my chances grow slimmer. And yet I cannot help but linger some days to stay an extra hour with her. To hear her voice and watch her face animate with joy as she speaks of the things that move her. Her books, her city, her memories. I cannot help but think what a shame it will be when I find the final key.
That's not a legal move. It is a European variation. Arocco. It's interesting. But not exactly fair when you play by different rules than your opponent. You may think differently when you are Sultan. Shall I take it back? Suleiman, I know it has been hard on you watching your father and me quarrel over Bayezid's throne. Grandfather has chosen you, and his word is canon. What is there to argue about? Your father and I were close once, but his cruelty and ambition have made... I have heard the rumors, uncle. Well, I have a meeting with the vizier soon. Shall we continue another time? Whenever you like. Ezio! Tarek has been selling guns to a local miser, Manuel Paleologos. Paleologos? That is a sad sound. The last Byzantine emperor was Constantine Paleologos. If his heir is arming a militia of some kind, this conflict will escalate. Tarek knows where the rifles are headed. If I find him first, I can follow the weapons straight to the Byzantines. He will be with his Janissaries in their barracks. So if you want to get close, you will have to be one yourself. Not a problem. Guzel. Get the information you need. Then kill him. Are you sure? You told me Tarek and your father were close friends, Suleiman. This is true, but such naked treason against my grandfather deserves death. In Daisy. Selim understands our plight. The Byzantines, the Mamluks, the Safavid. Only he has the courage to face these threats. Ah, listen. Selim is a warrior, like Osman and Mehmet. So why has our Sultan chosen a cat over our lives? of Constantinia. A servant of our Sultan has Ahmed fallen shares the, the hands Sultan's of a calm temperament. and been stripped of his garments. They are too much alike. Be on you. the lookout for any suspicious activity. Citizens, beware! Why does Ahmed linger in the city? He knows he's not wanted. Please be on you, good Lord. He is like a moth, hovering around an open flame, waiting for his father to perish, so that he may step to the throne. Did you hear he offered Tarek a sum of money in exchange for our loyalty? God damn it! What did Tarek do? Kardesh Larim! One of our own was found murdered and stripped of his garments not an hour ago. His body dumped like a mound of rubbish. Keep a close watch on these streets as you move about. Someone is planning to strike in our name. We must be ready. Sultan Bayezid is a good man, and a kind Sultan, but he has lost the fire that made him great. 
No, no, he's still a fighter. Look at the army he has raised against Selim. This is further evidence of his decline to take up arms against his own son? Shameful. Do not bend the truth to match the contours of your passion, Effendi. It was Selim who attacked our Sultan. Evet, evet, but Selim did it so for the glory of the Empire, not himself. Tarek, a message for you. Ariculare. <laughs> the rifles have arrived in Cappadoce, where Manuel has garrisoned his army. And our men, are they still with him? Evet. They will contact us when the Byzantines decamp. Then we will meet them when they reach Bursa. Everything is falling into place, Evendum. Evet. For once. of Suleiman's investigation. You collude with the Sultan's enemies. What did you expect would come of such treachery? I blame myself. Not for treason, but hubris. I was preparing an ambush. Preparing to strike the Byzantine Templars where they felt safest. What proof do you have of this? Uh, see, here. This will lead you to the Byzantines in Cappadoce. Destroy them if you can. You have done well, Tarek. Forgive me. Protect my homeland, assassin. Allah, Ashkina. Redeem the honor we have lost in this fight. I am getting tired of this uniform. Tarek was not traitor, Suleiman. He too was tracking the Byzantines. What? So did you... I am sorry. God forgive me. I should not have been so quick to judge. He was loyal to your grandfather to the end. And through his efforts, we have the means to save your city. Tarek, he should not have been so secretive. What a terrible way to do a good thing. The weapons were taken to Cappadoce. Can you get me there? Yes, of course. I will arrange a ship to take you. Suleiman! Suleiman! I have been set up and made to look a traitor. Do you remember Tarek, the Janissary? The man you quarreled with? He has been murdered. It is no secret that he and I were at odds. Now the Janissaries will accuse me of this crime. This is terrible news, uncle. When word gets back to my father, he will banish me from the city. Ah, forgive me, nephew. I was not aware that you had a guest. This is Marcello, one of my European advisors in Cafe. Buonasera. Marcello, my nephew and I have a private matter to discuss. As I said, there will be a ship waiting for you when you wish to leave. Grazie, mio principe. 
We will track down the perpetrator of this crime, Uncle. Have patience. Enjoying the poem? Who are these men he condemned to hell? Political opponents. Men who wronged him. Alighieri's quill cuts deeply, no? See, it is a subtle way to seek revenge. Ezio, I plan to make a trip to Andrianopoli in a few weeks to visit a new printing press there. That should be fun. It is a five or six day ride from here, and I will need an escort. Prego. Oh, I'm sorry, you are a busy man. Sophia, I would love to accompany you, but my time is running short. That is true for all of us. Well, I can try to solve this last code now, but I need to run an errand before sundown. Can you wait a day? What do you need? It is silly, but a bouquet of fresh flowers. White tulips, specifically. I can get you the flowers. Nessun problema. Are you sure? It will be a nice change of pace. Bene. Meet me in the park east of Aya Sofia, and we will trade. Flowers for information. You look like a man with money to spend. What do you need, Dostum? Tulips. White, if you have them. Ah, tulips. Uh, forgive me, but I am fresh out. Uh, something else, perhaps? It is not my call, unfortunately. All right. Listen, I may know where to get fresh tulips. You wait here, and I will return. One hour. Two at most. I am not waiting an hour. What is this? A gift. Sit. Che belli, grazie. I wanted to thank you for letting me play a small role in your adventure. A small role is enough for this adventure, believe me. <laughs> you are a mystery, Ezio Auditore. Mi dispiace. I do not mean to be. It is fine. È affascinante. Sembra squisito. Why, thank you. Any luck with the final code? Ah, the code, si. I solved it many hours ago. You will get it soon enough.
say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Shh. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Pity, Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor, and unlike Al Mualim or Al Tahir, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al Tahir was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. Is it... is it you? I heard the rumors, but I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been... a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayim to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. You say these men are cruel. Has anyone raised his blade against an innocent? Alas, yes. Brutality seems to be their sole joy. Then they will die, for they have compromised the order. But those who still live by the creed must be spared. You can trust in us. Leave this place! Altair is here. In the village? Send word to the castle, quickly. Assassins! To me! Mentor. Welcome. Shh. We do not want to get him killed. There! Kill the traitors! You are nothing without that artifact. Nothing! You pathetic miser. Stand down or die. Follow me to the castle. And spill no blood if you can help it. Oh, you need another friendly cat, eh? Death! Altair. <sighs> Two decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. We could use your wisdom, now more than ever. Kill him! Kill him now! What are you waiting for? You fools! He has bewitched you! Our mentor has returned! My respect, mentor. Hey! Abbas. I fight for you. For the order. Oh. 
Please, herifler. Welcome home. I'll tell you. You are home. Altair. Welcome back, Mentor. Tell your men to stand down. No! I am defending Masha. Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life, staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. I learned many things from the apple, of life and death, of the past and the future. Let me show you. I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family, my father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then... I will see him... and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time... we will find you. And then, there will be no doubts. An old man, and still he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. Sayun Auditore! Word around the city is you're leaving us. It's nothing I do a secret. <laughs> Not to worry, brother. The captain of your ship is a friend. But neither of you are going anywhere just yet. The Janissaries have raised the chain across the mouth of the Halic and ordered a full blockade until you are caught. They raised the chain for me. We will celebrate later. Uh, here, I have something for you. Careful. This has 50 times the kick of our usual bombs. Bene, I know what to do. The suspense is palpable. Yusuf, wait. Un favore. Yes? There is a woman running a bookshop at the old Polo trading post. Sofia. Look out for her. She is a remarkable lady. You have my word. Gather your men. This will attract some attention.
Greek fire! I like the way you think, Ezio! Yanlış yaptın ahmak. Baştan başla. Yours is not a subtle approach. See, sorry for the delay. something, don't you? You know what's out there. I have a hunch. Yes? Come on, Bill. You never do anything halfway. What do you think we'll find? If we're lucky, another prize. If we're very lucky, something that'll end this miserable war. You're talking over my head, mate. Listen, Sean, I have no idea what we're gonna find. But I do know that whatever it is, the Templars can't have it. Do you regret anything, Desmond? Like what? Running away? Leaving your parents behind, finding a shit job and pretending to be productive? What's it like spending your whole life avoiding hard decisions? Come on. Sure, you're an assassin. But it wasn't your choice. Do you have a point? I want to know. If you regret anything. Sure. I wish I'd been more patient with my parents. I wish I'd listened. And Lucy. Maybe things could have been different if I'd... I'm not sure. Thank you. For what? For making sense. Sean, you feeling okay? Sure, yeah, yeah, of course. No, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're assassins, after all, aren't we, eh? Why should we be surprised if one of us dies every now and again? Every death is a tragedy to somebody somewhere. What I want to know is... Is Desmond worth all this trouble? You know, what, what is he? Is he the, the chosen one? Is that it? Little Jimmy special? Some bollocks like that? I'm afraid not. But what he has is rare. His genes contain high concentrations of First Civilization DNA. Only about one in ten million are so lucky. Oh, the bleeding effect. Is that part of it? I believe so. I wish I could say we knew about his gift earlier. But it was the Templars who realized this. And they found him first. I have left Constantinople and set sail for the interior of Anatolia. To a region called Cappadocia, where Manuel is training his soldiers. If I am lucky, I will not be alone, for there may be Ottoman spies in the area waiting to strike. But, as ever, I put stock only in myself, and hold the memory of dear Sophia close to my heart. Claudia, you would laugh to hear the racing thoughts of your brother now. I have come to admire Sophia with more affection than I thought possible. After the death of Christina, something withered in me. 
But that feeling, that capacity for love, has returned. I adore Sophia, but dare not drag her into this life of mine. Not without fear of hurting her, or driving her away. signs of Tarek's men. Easy now. Tarek sent me. Only you? Why not more? I am enough. Where are your men? Captured by Byzantines over a week ago. I was just to look like a slave and managed to escape. But the others? Are you a capable fighter? I like to think so. Well, when you are certain, come find me. Did you happen to see that? We caught another of the Sultan's spies lurking about. A woman this time, disguised as a harlot of low birth. <laughs> Sending his harem girls now, eh? It seems the Sultan is hunting other skilled fighters. Where did you take her? Inside, into the prisons. But she won't last long. Not with Shakulu in charge. <laughs> How soon before my soldiers are trained to use those guns? A few weeks at most. Janissaries will know I have betrayed them by now. But do they have the resources for retribution? Doubtful. The Sultan's battle with Selim commands most of their attention. <laughs> ah! What the hell is that spell? Apologies, Manuel. Some of these Ottoman prisoners are so... fragile. <laughs> Shakuru, try to moderate your anger. I know the Sultan humiliated your people, but there is no need to spit on men who are beneath us. Mm. You, take the woman from the prison and bring her to the chapel. Shakuru, I don't have the key. Find it! Who has the key? You? I think Nicholas has it. He's on leave in the market. Christemu! I'd like to run that man through with a spear! Hey, hey! You got to yourself, taxi! taken prisoner. Poor men. That Turkman renegade did this. Shaku. I'll kill him! Wait! You do not cooperate very well. I'm here to rescue my men, not make friends. Right there. That armor is too thick for bullets. I will have to get in close. Janus, 
We have to help him. Deserve no pity. destroyed most of them don't actually work but the gunpowder is real we could not fake that Bene. keep out of sight until you hear the explosions then you run explosions if you do that all hell will break loose you will panic the entire city see si, i am counting on it and then what then i find manuel palea logos Sabotage, Manuel. You need to take cover. Get out of my way. Citizens, soldiers, compose yourselves. Do not give in to fear. We are the true shepherds of Constantinopolis. We are the lords of this land. We are Byzantines. Borayo, stand fast. Do not let anyone break it. Oh, Skata. Stop that man! Cut him down! Stop and think for a moment. Think about the lives you have disrupted today. The anarchy you have sown here. 
You take advantage of a poor and displaced people, using us to further your own vain quest. But we fight for dignity, assassin. We fight to restore peace to this troubled land. Templars are always quick to talk of peace, but very slow to concede power. Because power begets peace, Flaka. It cannot happen in reverse. These people would drown without a fair hand to lift them up and keep them in line. There he is. The monster I came to kill. You thought I would be easy hit? <coughs> oh! I should have been Constantine's successor. He had so many plans. Your dream dies with you, Manuel. Your empire is gone. Ah. But I am not the only one with this vision, assassin. The dream of our order is universal. What a man be something. These are only labels. Costumes and facades. Beneath these trappings. All Templars are part of the same family. Enough prattling. I am here for the Masyaf key. Then take it. Take it. You seek your fortune. See if you get within 100 leagues of that library before one of us finishes you off. Poor Manuel. Last of the Palaer Logi. I should not have put him in charge of our Masyaf expedition. He was an arrogant man. Impossible to keep in line. You disappoint me, Ahmed. Why the Templars? Because I am tired of all of these pointless blood feuds. That pit father against son. Brother against brother. To achieve true peace, mankind must think and move as one body with one master mind. The secrets in the Grand Temple will give us just that. And Altair will lead us there. Delusions. Altair's secrets are not for you. I am not interested in arguing, Ezio. I am here for the Masyaf Keys. Keys? Are there more than this one? So I have heard. Perhaps I should ask someone who knows better. Sophia Sarto. Is that her name? She knows nothing! Leave her be! We shall see. I will kill you if you touch her! I know you'll try.
Nicola Polo. Our time together was brief, I know. But I have faith this Codex will answer the many questions you have yet to ask. Altair, this gift is... invaluable. Grazie. So? Where will you go next? Back to Constantinople for a time. We will establish a guild there before returning to Venezia. Your son Marco will be eager to hear his father's wild stories. Uh, he is a little young for such tales, but one day soon, see? Father, a vanguard of Mongols has broken through. The village is overrun. Nicolo, your cargo and provisions are waiting for you by the village gates. We will escort you there. Uh, thank you, Mentor. Ready the catapults and watch for my signal. Stay close. Let's move. Stay close. <laughs> All right, this way. Father, are you hurt? Uh, give me a moment. <clears throat> ah, the end of an era. When I was very young, I was foolish enough to believe that our creed would bring an end to all these conflicts. If only I possessed the humility to say to myself, I have seen enough for one life. I have done my part. Then again, there is no greater glory than fighting to find the truth. We are ready. A last favor, Nicolo. Take these with you and guard them well. Hide them if you must. Artifacts? Of a kind. They are keys. Each one imbued with a message. A message... for whom? I wish I knew. Forgive the haste of my handwriting, Claudia. Much has transpired, and little of it good. I am on a ship bound for Constantinople, in pursuit of a man whose treachery has eluded me until now. Prince Ahmed, Suleiman's uncle. He's the man leading Templars here. He is the mastermind behind the Masyaf expedition, and he will stop at nothing to retrieve the keys, all of which are now in assassin hands. So what holds me back? Why do I not take the keys to Masyaf myself and be done with these fools? Because I have been careless. Because the Templars know about Sophia, and they are looking for her. Oh, Claudia, if anything should happen to her, I could not live with myself. I have dragged her into a war she knows nothing about. And it will be my burden to bear if she comes to any harm. Empire and travelers from foreign lands take heed. By order of the Janissaries, new restrictions apply to all who travel to and from the city. Note that a reward of 10,000 Akche will be given without question to anyone who brings in information that leads to the immediate arrest of the Suikasche, Ezio Auditore. Brothers, sisters, the whole city rises against us. 
while Yusuf's murderer waits and watches from the arsenal, laughing. Fight with me, and show him what it means to cross the assassins. You are in a position to negotiate. Kill me and be done with it. I am sorry it had to come to this. Two men who should be friends, quarreling over the keys to a library. We both strive for the same end, Ezio. Only our methods differ. Do you not see that? Peace, stability, a world where men live without fear. People desire the truth, yes. But even when they have it, they refuse to look. How do we fight this kind of ignorance? Liberty can be messy, Ahmed. But it is priceless. Of course. And when things fall apart, and the lights of civilization dim, Ezio Auditore can stand above the darkness and say proudly, I stayed true to my creed. I will open that library. And I will find the Grand Temple. And with the power that is hidden there, I will destroy the superstitions that keep men divided. Not in this life, Ahmed. Bring the seals to Galata Tower when you are ready. Do this, and Sophia will be spared. My brother's army will be here soon, Ezio. After that, everything changes. How long have you been here? Long enough. I had Ahmed tell as soon as he returned. But I never expected to hear all this. And what do you think? He is a sincere man. But this Templar fantasy of his is dangerous. It flies in the face of reality. The world is a tapestry of many colors and patterns. A just leader would celebrate this, not seek to unravel it. He fears the disorder that comes from difference. That is why we make laws to live by. A kanun that applies to all in equal measure. Shastadem! Stand back! Hold, soldier! This man is not our enemy. What a challenge it would be to have a son like you. You are not dead yet, old friend. Ezio, spare my uncle if you can. Would your father? No. Now should be a time for remembrance and mourning, I know. But our enemies do not permit us that luxury. Yusuf thought highly of you, assassin. And I find no reason to second-guess this judgment. Do you have it in your heart to lead these men and women, and to maintain the dignity of our order, 
as Yusuf did with such passion. It would be an honor. Bene, I am glad. Our enemy is close. Take positions around the tower, then wait for my command. Where is she? I admire you, Ezio. But your bloodlust makes it hard to call you a friend. Bloodlust? A strange insult from the man who ordered an attack on his own nephew. He was to be kidnapped, Ezio. Not killed. I see. Kidnapped by the Byzantines, so that his uncle could rescue him and be heralded a hero. More or less. Now, the keys. First, the girl. <laughs> She's all yours. Sophia! Tell your men to back off. She's all yours. I did not mean to drag you into this. I am sorry. And you are not responsible for the actions of other men. All this will be over soon, but I need to recover what they have taken. I do not understand what is happening, Ezio. Who are these men? Run! I'm fine. 
Ben Now it's you. How does this end? I am wondering that myself. Oh! Soldiers! Selim is not your master! You serve the Sultan! You carry out his command alone! Where is he? Where is the Sultan? He stands before you, brothers. Father made his choice. <coughs> Selim! Stop! Please! <coughs> so, you are the assassin. Ezio Auditore. I am Selim, Suleiman's father. He speaks quite highly of you. He is a remarkable boy with a magnificent mind. Were it not for his endorsement, I would have you killed where you stand. Leave this place. Do not return. <laughs> you did the right thing, Ezio. This is not your fight. But where does one end and the next begin? Bill! Good to see you! Listen, we've got a customs officer waiting to talk to everyone. I hope you have something for us. Absolutely. Passports and papers for everyone. Ah, brilliant. So I'm... I'm what? A neurosurgeon now, am I? You're a medical team from SUNY Upstate. Just back from Rome with your patient. Experimental gene therapy. Good work. Let's get this over with. Wait, look. This is crazy. What's wrong? I'm not sure, but Desmond's brain is lighting up like a string of firecrackers. Here it comes. What is that? What's going on? This is the end, Desmond. Scheduled for deletion. What are you doing? What is a man but the sum of his memories? We are the stories we live. The tales we tell ourselves. Don't do this. I'm saving you, idiot. Go! Go! Write these lines with a steady hand and a light heart. We are in Acre now, Sophia and I, with the five Masyaf keys in our possession, and all the time in the world. Sophia is a seasoned traveler and a fine companion to have so far from home. Tomorrow we will make our way to Masyaf, and once there, into Altair's library, to fulfill our father's forgotten dream. Forgive the shortness of this letter, dear sister, for it is late, and we are tired. 
Perhaps, with luck, the next words you hear from me will be in person. Con affetto, Ezio. Such a climb. È così bello qui. This is where your order began? It began thousands of years ago, but here it was reborn. By the man you mentioned, Altair? Altair ibn Laahad. He built us up and set us free. He saw the folly of keeping a castle like this. It had become a symbol of arrogance and a beacon for all our enemies. And the mandate for menacing hoods? Was that his idea as well? <laughs> you mentioned a creed before. What is it? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. That is rather cynical. It would be if it were doctrine. But it is merely an observation of the nature of reality. To say that nothing is true is to realize that the foundations of society are fragile, and that we must be the shepherds of our own civilization. To say that everything is permitted is to understand that we are the architects of our actions and that we must live with their consequences, whether glorious or tragic. Do you regret your decision to live as an assassin for so long? I do not remember making that decision. This life, it chose me for three decades. I have served the memory of my father and my brothers, and fought for those who have suffered the pain of injustice. I do not regret those years, but it is time to live for myself, and let them go. To let go of all of this. Then let go. You will not fall far. End of the road. What do you hope to find behind that door? Knowledge, above all else. Altair was a profound man and a prolific writer. He built this place as a repository for all his wisdom. He saw many things in his life and learned many secrets, both troubling and strange. Knowledge that would drive lesser men to despair. Does that worry you? Sophia. You had better come out of there alive. I plan to. Like we 
scat in pace o tair. You have seen to my books? Yes. Some we sent with the Polos. The rest will go with me to Alexandria. Good. Very good. Father, I do not understand. Why did you build a library if you did not intend to keep your books? You should go. When the Mongols return, Masyaf must be empty. I see. This is not a library at all. It is a vault. It must stay hidden, Darim. Far from eager hands. At least until it has passed on the secret it contains. What secret? Go, son. Go be with your family. And live well. All that is good in me began with you, father. In much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge, increaseth sorrow. What does it tell you? What do you see? Strange visions and messages of ones who came before, of their rise and their fall. But what happens to us, Altair? To our family? What does the apple say? were the ones who came before. What brought them here? How long ago? Get rid of that thing! This is my duty, Maria. Maria? Where? Where are you? Where is she? If you are asked, say I sent the apple away. Tell them I sent it to Cyprus or Sipango or that I dropped it into the sea. Tell them anything to keep men away from this place. This apple must not be found. Not until the time is right. Another artifact? No. You will stay here. I have seen enough for one life. Desmond? He's talking to me? I heard your name once before, Desmond. A long time ago. And now it lingers in my mind. Like an image from an old dream. I do not know where you are, or by what means you can hear me. But I know you are listening.
I have lived my life as best I could, not knowing its purpose, but drawn forward like a moth to a distant moon. And here at last, I discover a strange truth. That I am only a conduit for a message that eludes my understanding. Who are we? who have been so blessed to share our stories like this, to speak across centuries. Maybe you will answer all the questions I have asked. Maybe you will be the one to make all this suffering worth something in the end. Now, listen. Do you hear me, Cypher? Can you see me? Ah, there you are. Good. A strange place, this nexus of time. I am not used to the calculations. That has always been Minerva's domain. I see you still have many questions. Who were we? What became of us? What do we desire of you? You will have your answers. Only listen, and I will tell you how. Both before the end and after, we sought to save the world. We built vaults within which to work, each dedicated to a different method of salvation. They were placed underground, to avoid the war which raged above, and also as a precaution should we fail in our efforts. Each vault's knowledge was transmitted to a single place. shook for days, the fires burned for weeks, and when the ash had settled, less than 10,000 of your kind still lived. 
and far fewer of ours. But we carried on together to rebuild, to renew. Listen, you must go there to the place where we labored, labored and lost. Take my words, pass them from your head into your hands. That is how you will open the way. But be warned, much still remains in flux, and I do not know how things will end, either in my time or yours. Wait, look, his vitals are stabilizing. Something's happening. He's, he's moving. Desmond. Can you hear me? Son? I know what we need to do. 